Hi, I um, am a poet. I wrote a poem today. It's called Cognitive Dissonance. Hopefully it creates some cognitive dissonance instead of going ahead and making me seem like an asshat Dr. Seuss. I can only hope. Anyways, here goes. <clears throat> Family of four, father shot dead, puppy mutilated, news at five. Teenage mother puts baby in dumpster, missing hiker found alive. A body pulled from water, forgotten icon found today. Animal saved and given new home, natural disaster taking them away. Hope being proper from scientific tone, father snaps and kills them all. Another taken in the midst of his prime, FTA food product recall. Child neglected, pictures over time. Celebrity is shocking admission. Viral outbreak, news at 11. Insert gap by opposing a politician. Appalling theft from charity, death penalty to attempt to avert. Bemoaning the signs of economic disparity. Missing girl, blonde, amber alert. Athlete mysteriously drops dead. Homecoming for Iraq soldier. Shooting, stabbing, or beaten to death. Fires continue to smolder. It doesn't matter where you go. The news is all the same. Redundant, repetitive, generally following the same blame game. It's not to say that different things don't happen. Those things just don't follow the accepted pattern. What is it that they want us to know? Or are they simply telling us what we want to hear? It could be that it's all about you. A web page pre presentation of all you fear. Feel sorrow for a moment, then relief it's not you. Feel gratitude that you are you <laughs> your life is as you choose. Or is it that the life you choose seems so much better than what one can glean from others in the news? At least I'm not her or him or it. At least I'm safe for a little bit. Tisk. Don't you be questioning us. It's not your business, for we are just. With honor and integrity do we report. Just not the things that we prefer to abort.